Hey everybody, I'm Schmirkadaber, and welcome back to the Adventures of Gary and the Witcher 3. We've got a lot of people to chat with, um, and it looks like they are kind of all over the damn place. Let's have a look at our map and, uh, and see what's going on with where these ladies are. So there's one very nearby. Let's go talk to her first. Um, that'll be nice, and, uh, and we'll see what she has to say. Uh, quest updated, broken flower. It's great. Um, here we go. We've got. It looks like we might have an argument of some I will sort get happening. Rid of the lost copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Oh! Help! What you all are in for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Hey, Close guys! <laughs> Keep awesome. out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Um. Vespula's got new protection. Vespula's got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? The King of Beggars. The King of Beggars. Made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration. Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's gotta be. Goddamn right, get out of here, jerks. Okay. Awesome. Oh, look, she's so happy. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you... Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? It's Gary. Um, I took Dandelion out whoring? Yeah, actually, Dandelion's why I'm here. Gerald. Geralt. Oh, dreadful sorry. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring, that horse pheasant, that lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? <laughs> Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Ah, trollops. What can you do, lady? Troll. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Good for you. Um, who was he with in Harborside? This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covir. Ha! <laughs> Horvir, more like. Ah, uh, very clever. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. <laughs> He's too come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as the one in the same. Oh! Now... Um, that's like, that's not the best. Thanks, good, good, Thanks good luck. Help. All right, cool. You're welcome, Listen, by the way. I find Dandelion. Anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Ah, <laughs> uh, she still likes him. Kind of cute. Okay, let's go. No doubt. Okay, I'm just gonna, look at this. Look at this place. She makes nice clothes. Welcome. Well, oh, I'm a he makes of nice clothes. Looking for Eliel. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. Oh, and he makes the masks you too, Eliel? perhaps? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Eliel was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. And he just, like, runs out the door, like, jumps out the window and runs away. Okay. Oh. Oh, Ellie Hall. Any better? So you're... Ellie Hall. <laughs> did you and Dandelion... <laughs> Gary! How, how did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Uh, and then... Details, Ali Hall. Details. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Okay, well, um, when did you last see him? Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button rear fixed or a hole patched. 
When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd, as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Okay, um, thanks for your help, I guess. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find well, me. Well, that's great, actually. Um, okay, cool. Can you make me something nice, Elihal? Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Yes, that's pretty much exactly what I'm here for. Show Glad me what you have in stock, please. You got. I'm in the mood for some if fancy clothes. Or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. All right, great. Cool. Oh, this is awesome. Um, all right, we've got shirts. We've got courtier's doublets. Um, Skellige shirt. That, I'll bet, looks real. Oh, the masks. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I might have to get... They're cheap, too. I'm, I'll take all of these, please. Give me all of them. Okay. And, um, otherwise, my man, I don't really have much, uh, to purchase from you. But if you will buy stuff from me, I might be happy to sell it. Like this mace... And this sword, and this mace, and this mace, um, and probably this mace, and maybe, yeah, this sword. Okay, awesome. Thank you, man. Oh, best of luck in all of your endeavors, my friend. Let's go. So long. All right, man, enjoy. Yeah, I wish that you could, like, make my armor look, like, nicer. That would be nice, but I guess he can't, so let's go. Um, okay, talk to Marabella. Uh, we gotta go find another lady. Eh. Okay, off we go. Really, dude? Wait, did somebody just make a sound like it was me farting? Was it that dwarf? Uh, I'm, I am unappreciated all the time. Is that a barber shop? Yeah! Uh, hey, barber. What's Looking up? Looking for a barber? Well, you found one. Are you Welcome. drunk? I'll plow and shave the gentleman's noggin for half price. Give me a haircut. Uh, as long as your hands aren't too shaky. Uh, okay. Maybe not the best plan. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'd like both of these things. I'd like a new haircut. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'd also like you to style my beard. Oh, Gary. Gary, would you look at yourself? You look stunning, my friend. So long. It's time, Gary. I actually do kind of like the short haircut. It suits him. Okay, let's go. Oh, looking good. Looking good. Ready to just absolutely uh, lay a stunner down on the ladies. And, um, and find that information that we need about old Dandelion with our new haircut. Hey, lady. Oh, kids. Tell me it's not one of these children. Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. Thank God. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. Uh, fine. I'll wait. Yay! I've waited. Okay, Marabella. Out of the way, children. How do you know? Mom says that. All right, cool. Now can we talk? Oh, look yes. at Gary. He looks so what good. Do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Oh, hmm. nice. Maybe. No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. Really? When his hand what is going on here? He pointed a figure of penicillium. I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. Oh no! Um, did you see him later? He did write a poem about you. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? No. Poetry's always fascinated me. <laughs> I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelion's? Mere exercise is true, but... I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. For real? Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up. A snakely whip rose skyward. Gee hawk! 
crack. She rang the best in. <laughs> oh! A stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chin chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. <laughs> Um, did you see him later? See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Okay. Well then, goodbye. You've been Thanks no help, help whatsoever. Farewell. Jesus, these these women, man, are just, they're not, they're not helping out. Um, I mean, other than, oh, but we've leveled up. Other than with educating the, the children of this town, um, they have, they have been zero help. Okay, we're gonna level up. Let's do it. Um, and I think, what do more levels of this do, I wonder? Uh, with a bonus of 25%, um... Yeah, let's do it. I want to level this up. I want to keep myself super safe at all times. Let's go. Whoa, this house is awesome. And I'm looking like I'm ready to be in there now, too. Now that this I'm looking Baroness fit and suave. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. I <laughs> just stand there. I love it. God, Gary is the best, man. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep. Surely this is no chance encounter. Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistake in you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprise. Ah, uh, he's so gross looking. Maybe if he had a better haircut and some mutton chops, he'd look okay. Um, we've met before. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired a chat with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. Has Var Emri sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maidservant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend, Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the race. Oh, races. my Is God. Is that something you consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? All right. Um, I'm happy to go. Let's well, go. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way, then. Great. Now we can be buddies. We can all be friends. Um, and you can give me lots of money uh, just for hanging out. Let's go. I mean, look at me. I am looking good. Like, my armor's not in the best shape, but my... Well, rather, like, my... The padding is in the best shape, but the armor itself is shiny. My hair is looking good. My mutton chops are, I mean, truly glorious. Probably the best honor. Uh, well, whatever planet this is. Uh, in, in the world, I should say. Um, and, uh, and, I mean, my personality is as charming as it ever was. So there's no reason to think that... Uh, that I won't have a great time at this awesome, fancy horse race, I guess. I wonder if there will be cucumber sandwiches there. Uh, I sure hope they are. I enjoy a good cucumber sandwich. Um, a few hours later, good God. We have We've been arrived. spending a lot of time. And it's just raining, raining, raining. Are My those father owned a similar cucumber sandwiches? As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? Um, I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. Every the Grey Mare oh. is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vold. Oh man, yeah, Grey's that's a, nice a sexy horse. For horses too. My coins on the Black Stallion, Nemrot, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Oh yeah, it looks. Uh, Surprised he didn't say it. It looks horsey. General. Oh, what's that look? So, do you know anything about the others? Know anything about the chestnut or the bay? The chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Retanian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the and identical the one next to it? Zericania. Lord Devolta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Okay. Um, I'd like to talk to Molly. Is Molly a horse? 
<laughs> Pardon? I did come here to see Molly after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll oh, wait. he looks so good. All right. No. Seems to know your horses. Yeah. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the south. Oh, am I gonna have to race Mostly you? Just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? All right, I'm in. Not what I came here for. Yeah, no, Don't let's make do it. Me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle, made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Let's race. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into yeah, riding skills. Yeah, now if it's a Nilfgaardian well, saddle, I kind of already have one. So, but which steed do you choose, Witcher? Okay. Um. Let's see. The Zarakar the Zarakanian Bay. Um, because he doesn't know much about it. Maybe. Um. Yeah, I'll ride that one. Heard tales of Zarakanian horses. I'll ride the bay. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. I've got uh, uh, incredible stamina, so I should just be able to sprint the whole time and win the whole damn thing. Let's go. Riders ready? Yes, I'm ready. Two, one. Okay. And now all I need to do is get a, a bullet bill um, and a, a triple red shell, and I should be good. Um, now, as long as nobody gets a blue shell, at least, uh, I'm going to be just fine. But if somebody gets a blue shell, I'm, I'm pretty much straight fucked. I'm, I'm doomed. Um, okay, let's go. Look at us go, man. Yeah, look at the stamina. The stamina is doing it. All right, we're gonna just let that stop now for a second and go to Cantor. Um, I am made of, uh, shit. I'm not made of shit, that's not what I meant to say. I am not made of shit. Okay, let's go. Um, what I am made of is, uh, I was going to say stronger things than you, but, um, okay, my stamina is starting to run low. Let's make sure that we cut this asshole off, uh, like so. Yep, so he can't get in front of us. And here comes the stamina. I did it. I won on the Zarakanian Bay. What a thrill! A beautiful victory! I know, I'm Thanks. amazing. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. Man, this guy wants to be my friend that so bad. Is yours. Nice. Superior racing saddle. Great. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, Milady? Oh, roach is gonna yes, love that Molly. thing. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. She's and portly? And you must find us when you're ready to She is not what I would describe as portly. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Oh, great. So I just get to kind of hang out uh, at the races? For now? Yeah. Hey. Uh, nothing what? hurts as much as life. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this saddle on Roach. Because that's exciting. That's an exciting get. Um, okay. Uh, 50 stamina versus 50 stamina. Okay, awesome. Let's let's use this one then, um, since it is special. And uh, yeah, I can get rid of the Nilf Guardian saddle. It's worth 250. Is this one worth any more? No, it's worth exactly the same. So that tells me that they are indeed exactly the same. Let's go talk to Rosa, or Molly, rather. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one dandelions rescued time and time again. <laughs> That's me. I, I'm i that Gary. Yeah, if not for him. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be here if not for dandelion. <laughs> That's Tell true. Tell me all about your adventures. <laughs> how he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the Karen by playing his lute. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. Uh. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says dandelions are good for nothing layabout. Can you imagine? I can't. I can't imagine it. It's but, so impossible. You can't oh, even oh, consider maybe it. Your sister could help you. Oh, such a nice girl. Okay. 
Uh, Dandelion doesn't have a sister. Are you aware of that? You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister. Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they have different fathers. That must be mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares <laughs> for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Uh, do you remember your last Any conversation with you them? remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise over the canals <laughs> by the light this of the This guy moon. is probably over there just laughing. He's like, yeah, are you fucking serious, lady? So be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles. <coughs> and he'd sing me arias. But well, I've not seen him since. Okay, well, let's go. Thanks, Molly. Wait, before you go, I've got a request. What do you want me Dandelion to tell him? Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. And I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on your search. So everybody just fucking loves Dandelion, I see. All right, talk to Rosa. Um, is she down here? Is she up there? Can I just climb up there? Excuse me, guys. Pardon me, gentlemen. Uh, excuse me. Pardon me. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Uh... I kind of feel like I should head back on my own. Right? Yeah, let's head back no, on my own. I actually came to say goodbye. I'll get back on my own somehow. As you will. In any case, I thank you for a pleasant afternoon. You are no, welcome, thank man. You. Till next time. Okay, cool. Well, maybe that guy is not so bad. Maybe he's not a total fucking scumbag douche. Um, okay, where am I? Let's find out where we are exactly. Okay, um, I see. All right, so we passed by the wheat fields thing. This is cool. Like racetracks and palaces and stuff. Really neat. Um, okay. So we've just got to talk to Rosa, uh, and and that should be it. This is a, this is a long ass quest, dude. All right, so let's go to the wheat field sign, and we'll take that back, um, unless of course there's a sign here. Pardon me, everybody. Excuse me. Just one more. I just pardon. Excuse me. Pardon me. Okay. Um, let's go. Uh, let's get Roach involved here. Um, Roach. Get your butt over here. I need you. Um, I don't know. I, I don't pay super close attention to where I am because I'm so busy. Locked? Oh, okay. Oh, it's you again. Yeah? You got something to say? I'm looking for Rosa. Want to see Rosa for Atra? Oh, mate. If you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. Um. Thanks, we ain't looking for no witcher. Uh, Alright, cool. Let's find another way in then, shall we? Um, okay, there, I did it. Nailed it. No, okay. That's fine. Uh, looks like we could go um, to the other side of this wall, perhaps? Can I squeeze through that way? No. Can I get up there? No. Um, okay. There's got to be a way, though. We're going to find our way around and through and into this place. What if I jumped on a bench? Could I grab? No? Okay. Just parkour. Parkour. All right. Um, nothing that way. So let's check over this way then. Presence is in the front of the attack. And move. Thank you. Um, looks like yeah. It looks like we can make our way around back here. All right, let's go to the rock, Gary. Nice. What a jump! Holy shit. Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to make that jump. Oh my god. Yeah, Gary, you can totally fucking get there. Oh, Gary. Gary, you suck. It's terrible. Terrible, I tells you. Um, yeah, how did I not make that? Like, I was right there. Okay, here we go. We're gonna climb up here. 
And up here, it looks like. Yes. Yes. And is that a corpse? Is there a dead man here? With a love letter. My darling Rosa. From the first moment I set eyes on you, blah de blah de blah. Uh, fallen hopelessly in love. Don't torture me. Gilbert Blith. Okay, well, Gilbert, sounds like she didn't love you back. You fancy men like me. Whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. And I'd advise you to sod off. Ooh. Trouble in paradise? Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, uh, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed witcher of Okay, the there. That's the what kind of compliment I'm looking How'd for. How'd you get in? Well, I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new sword play instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady, he's a witcher. Said so himself, back by the gates. Is there anybody Captain, better to teach sword play? Like Rosa Bar Artra would train with random clods calling themselves sword masters? No. The Var Artras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. As you say, miss. Yeah, you're gonna get fired, dude. Straight up, man. Like, you've got a problem on your hands. She's not happy with you. You want a piece? You want to go? I'll give you some training. Free of charge. Can I just, like, shoot him in the back with a crossbow? That would be really, really you nice. realize what you've got yourself into? Hope so, too. Miss Rose has got All right, let's right. do this first, though. <laughs> let's drop a quick save before we shoot a rando with a crossbow. Um, okay. Game save. Shows no Excellent. mercy once she grips a sword. I cannot do this now. Damn it. Oh, come on. All I ask is to be able to shoot a guard who was a jerk to me in the back. Like, is that so much, game? Is that so much... Well, well. Grab a wooden one. And take care not to hurt the little miss. You'll earn the ambassador's ire. Uh, okay. I'll grab a wooden sword then. Great. Follow me. Cool. Wow, this is ah. awesome. You're my new instructor. Well, well. Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. What? Ugh. You're making this a real pain in the ass, lady. Like... Oh, man. But look at me. Look at how good I look. Oh, my God. Gary. Gary. Just... He got so sexy so fast. I can't believe it. when you can barely handle one. Really? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay, so you've hit me twice. Okay. Yes, 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 I've got this. I've got this. On, We've got it under person. our control. Okay. Stop flaunting and fight. Damn it! All right, we've done it. We've defeated um, a random well, rich bitch. You're much better than the last like, one. Like, come on! I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Um, didn't we just talk? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes, in the garden. So what was it you said? What Why the hell? What is wrong with Came you? Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship, 
Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Oh my god, are you serious? Rat it. Quick. <laughs> Come on! Like... I'm pounding her. This is awesome. Okay. Boom! We've got her in the corner. There's nothing she can do. Our 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 furious blows just raining down on her. Damn it! Huh? Oh, if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Um, yeah, sure. Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion. Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind, Edna Va Atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Oh I boy, know. what so a title! You in the garden. <laughs> oh, I get of it. Of course, it was me. Why did Rosa try to play you for a fool? They're twins. That's why Dandelion liked them so much. Cause Don't twins. Be We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. Uh, did Dandelion have trouble keeping you Take straight? It, Dandelion did too. On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I can explain. <laughs> Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Easy, ladies. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? <laughs> Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with Oh so my passion. god. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Caddy, 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 enough! Um, whose talents did Dandelion praise? Are you interested in politics? No. Let's just who get this over with about? and get out of here. I her. do not like I these ladies. I she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented. Exceptionally talented, woman, of course. Not a local, right? <laughs> I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Okay. I should go. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Ugh. Ugh. God, mm -hmm. I you know Can what? I, I thought I was gonna like um where and when. Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you. Oh, I'm gonna get some maybe from some twins. It's gonna be great. Okay. Um. Awesome. Nice work, Gary. Really, really nice work. Just top notch. Uh, great. Get to put my clothes back on and be on my damn way. All right. Could I take that armor? Can I... Can I do that? No? Can I loot this for some water? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, yes, we've got another quest for fencing lessons uh, to maybe get some from some twins. And that is pretty special. And that is uh, where we're going to leave off on this episode, everybody. So thank you so much, as always, for watching. You know I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. I'll see you around. I will see you next time. I can't... Come on, Gary. Will you fucking... Why am I in combat? Jump! Okay. Um... I'll see you later. I'll see you around. I will see you next time. I can't wait to play more The Witcher 3. And I can't wait to do it with you. Have a great day. Bye.